shameless copycat uniforms in history. Throughout history, uniforms have always been a significant aspect of warfare. Their primary purpose was to give the soldier protection and concealment, but it was also to identify friend from foe. During the 20th century, the tactical significance of uniforms was constantly increasing. The introduction of camouflage patterns provided a soldier with basic features and the ability to conceal himself from the enemy. Recognizing the practicality of camouflage, armed forces throughout the world are investing a lot of resources and money into developing new designs and patterns. Some of them, however, opt to skip the research and development phase and just copy the works of others. These are some of the most famous <laughs> copycat uniforms in history. When you're wounded in battle, you rely on your comrades to pick you up. Just like how when you're injured in everyday life, sometimes you need extra help. Introducing your generals in the war for fair compensation. Morgan and Morgan. The fight might not be easy, but getting your claim started for an injury is. With Morgan and Morgan, you can submit an injury claim without ever having to leave the couch. Rally over 800 attorney troops with just 8 clicks or less on your phone. It's that simple. You can even text your dedicated legal team to day or night because you deserve to face down your enemy with the right support on your side. Morgan and Morgan have recovered $15 billion for hundreds of thousands of injured soldiers. And they won't even ask for any money up front. They're that confident their battle strategy will be a success. If you need help in the fight for fair compensation, dial pound law from your cell phone or visit www.forthepeople.com slash simple history to see how Morgan and Morgan can fight to help you win the battle and the war. The British M1942 Pattern Windproof Smock, South Vietnamese Camouflage Uniform The outbreak of World War II revolutionized the utilization of uniforms by introducing camouflage materials on a larger scale. The Germans were among the first to recognize the importance of camouflage uniforms, primarily for airborne units that were supposed to operate behind enemy lines. The British were quick to follow. The first camouflage uniforms issued to British paratroopers were in fact copies of the German Knochensack, or bone sack smocks. In 1941, however, the British designed their own camouflage pattern smock with a specific brush stroke design. This was designed by Major Dennison, a member of a camouflage unit, who the jacket was named after, and the pattern was created by painting a standard khaki uniform with large mop-like brushes, leaving thin trails at the end of the stroke, hence the name for it. The following year, the British introduced the second pattern, the M1942 windproof smock with a distinctive pinkish tone. The pattern remained unchanged until the late 1950s and was used as a template for many other patterns throughout the world. South Vietnam, though, was producing a copy of the M1942 windproof smock, which had been introduced to them by the French. After World War II, the British Army had donated a batch of smocks to French airborne units. Then, in late 1946, the First Indochina War broke out, and French paratroopers were among the units deployed to fight the Viet Minh forces. Vietnamese airborne and commando units also fought alongside them, so they were also dressed in M1942 windproofs. In 1954, the war finally ended, and the French left the region, but the uniforms remained, being very popular among the troops because of their lightweight construction. In 1962, the government of the Republic of Vietnam started producing their own uniforms, copies of the M1942 pattern, exclusively for airborne Yae Zhu units. Like the original windproof, the South Vietnamese copy had a pinkish tan or mauve base, with broad pea green and purplish brown brushstrokes. In 1964, a second version was introduced with slightly muted colors. Along with paratroopers, the uniform was worn by South Vietnamese Special Forces and even U.S. military advisors in the early years of the Vietnam War. The Vietnamese nicknamed the uniform Huyet, or Blood, while the Americans recognized it as Pinks. The British pattern was used until the end of the 1960s when a new Tiger pattern replaced it. The Chinese copy of the British DPM uniform in Britain, it wasn't until the 1960s that the Ministry of Defense would issue uniforms with camo patterns on a mass scale to all branches of the Army. Known as Disruptive Pattern Material, or DPM, the British military would use many variations of this type of camouflage until it was replaced with the Multi-Terrain Pattern in 2009. Either due to the effectiveness of this type of camouflage or due to the connections with the British Empire, many nations have adopted similar patterns for use in their militaries, including Oman, New Zealand, Indonesia, Yemen, and many others. 
DPM has been modified for use in many different environments, from tropical to temperate to desert, and can consist of various shades of green, brown, red, black, and occasionally blue and purple for urban environments. The original standard pattern used by the British military was designated for temperate climates and is made up of brown, green, and black irregular shapes overlaid over a khaki base. Starting in the mid-1970s, the Chinese People's Liberation Army began issuing uniforms in a camouflage pattern as opposed to a solid color. Known as the Type 81 uniform, this design would consist of a light green base over which would be overlaid brown, black, and moss green irregular shapes, all of which bear a similar, albeit crude, facsimile of its British counterpart. The uniform would also feature a reversible duck hunter pattern on the inside, increasing its versatility. Duck Hunter, which was also known as Big Five Leaves by the Chinese, consists of irregular spots and splotches on a solid background. The pattern on the Type 81 consisted of brown and two shades of green on a tan background. Initially, the Type 81 uniform would be issued to specialist soldiers such as sappers and airborne troops. It would soon be joined by the Type 84, a similar but slightly different design. Both uniforms would see action in the Sino-Vietnamese War in 1979. Over the years, the DPM pattern would be replaced by other designs, but in the mid-2000s, Special Forces units would be seen with an updated version of the camouflage that originated with the British a half-century ago. The U.S. Desert Battle Dress Uniform, Middle Eastern Countries One of the most recognizable camouflage uniforms is the United States Armed Forces Desert Battle Dress Uniform. The design was developed in the 1970s, ready for a potential engagement in desert conditions, namely in the Middle East. It consists of patches of two shades of mid-brown over a larger area of sand and tan, and is dotted with smaller rock shapes painted black and white. The uniform is also known as the six-color desert pattern due to the number of shades used and the chocolate chip pattern because of the rock shapes that resemble a cookie. The U.S. military used desert battle dress uniform from the early 1980s to the mid-1990s. Its most notable use was during the Gulf War in 1991. The Americans eventually abandoned the pattern because the rock shapes didn't fit in with the Middle Eastern terrain, where there were only large areas of sand. After the Gulf War, many countries in the region started to copy the pattern. Among them were the nations whom the Americans had a good relationship with, such as Kuwait, the United Arab Emirates, Jordan, and Saudi Arabia. But also hostile nations such as Yemen, Libya, and Iran copied it as well. The Saudis went the furthest in copying the chocolate chip pattern. The uniform was introduced as the standard camouflage pattern before the Gulf War and has been used in all branches of the armed forces. Even though a tan background pattern is dominant, there are also uniforms with a gray background and dark and light gray camo patches. These uniforms, commonly known as Saudi Desert Camo, are primarily worn by the Royal Saudi Border Guards. Surprisingly, the United States' main antagonist in the area, the Islamic Republic of Iran, also copied the uniform. In Iran, the chocolate chip uniforms are reserved for the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps elite unit, the Sepa Commandos. Since 2004, Iraqi armed forces have also introduced the chocolate chip as their standard uniform and have produced their own copies. The German Flechtarn, Danish M84 Being among the first countries to develop camouflage uniforms, Germany has produced a series of patterns influencing other uniforms throughout the world. After World War II, the armed forces of West Germany adopted a classical olive gray moleskin combat uniform. In 1976, after conducting a trial for a new camouflage uniform, the Bundeswehr chose a Flechtarnmuster, a spot camouflage pattern. However, the new uniform was not introduced until 1989. Over time, the Flechtarn pattern underwent several changes, but the principle remained the same. Original Flectarn was a five-colored pattern with black, reddish-brown, dark olive, and medium olive green spots on a moss green background. In 1993, a desert version was introduced with dark olive and reddish-brown spots on a yellow tan background. Over time, the Flectarn pattern proved to be a good design and was used by armies worldwide. One of these was the Danish defense, the armed forces of the Kingdom of Denmark. Like the Germans, the Danes were also using classic M58 olive green uniforms before they decided to switch to a camouflage pattern in the late 1970s. At that time, the Germans had introduced the Flechtarn pattern, and the Danes decided to use the same design. The result was the T-78 test uniform in a spot camouflage pattern. 
With slight modifications, the pattern evolved into the M84 uniform that became the standard battle dress for Danish soldiers. The Danish uniform was different from the German in that it only had three colors, black, olive green, and light green, the colors of the Scandinavian landscape. Even though the design was a product of the Danish development program and is protected by laws, M84 is undoubtedly a copy of the Flechtarn uniform. Certain pattern shapes are even the same as on the German uniform. In the last 50 years, the palette of uniforms has become so diverse with hundreds of various patterns, but there are only about a dozen pattern styles. As a result, most uniforms cannot be considered copycats, but simply modifications of basic patterns and designs.